Hello everyone, it's your host Get Good Fox. Welcome back to 20 Minutes Till Dawn, the game of guns, tentacles, and waifus. Uh, so there was a new update, and take a look at this. A new weapon, the Magic Bow. Shoots out arrows that linger on the ground, and when you reload, the arrows return to you and deal damage to enemies that they pass through. Let's go ahead and unlock it, and um, I guess I, I won't, I'm going to give it a try. Uh, we're going to do Shauna. Shauna is kind of the... Um, the basic character and um, the magic bow. We're gonna give that a try, and let's just, let's. I think a good way to test it is to just run in on Darkness 15 and see what happens. We're gonna use Shauna because um, Shauna's able to reroll, so I'm able to like. Okay, so let me see how this works. So I reload. Oh, interesting. How many times do I get to shoot? Okay, I see. So you can shoot several times. And then they come back to you. Very interesting. All right, so I'm already starting. I, I think I got some ideas of how I'm going to use this thing. Okay, so it has infinite piercing on its return. Very interesting. So I'm guessing the way I want to use this weapon is... Ooh, what it... I think there's a lot of interesting ways that we could use this weapon. Oh, okay. But we're definitely going to want penetration. Bullet penetration is going to be really important because we don't want the arrows to get stuck stopped. So let's go with power shot first. Because I want to get into, you know, we want to get into bullet penetration as quickly as possible. In fact, it might be a better idea actually to shoot past them. Like so. Look at that. Oh, interesting. I mean, I don't it, it feels like it's kind of a waste to only shoot past them in the yeah, yeah, we want penetration. And the reason we want penetration is because oh, look at this ammo generation. We want to go into lightning because the more bullets we generate, the more we can retract when, um... Uh, let's go with big shots. Yeah, big shots sound like a good idea. More damage is going to be good. Also, speed. We're going to want some speed, mainly because, you know, it's Darkness 15. It's a good idea to not be slow in the first place, but... Oh, that is that is cool. Okay, this weapon is kind of cool so far. I gotta say, I don't know how good it's gonna be in the long run. Um, reload rate. Yeah, reload faster. That means we can call them back sooner or quick. Well, you know, like we just shoot them in all kinds of wacky directions. We're gonna basically the more the more we shoot, the more that are gonna come back. Ah, very interesting. <gasps> Split fire. Oh. Very interesting. And then I can cross inwards like that. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah. I think I don't think we would want to waste we want to we want to do damage both directions. The direct damage is not bad, honestly. But definitely the highlight is the return. Because the return has infinite piercing. Ooh, hope I don't get hit. Nah, it'll push him back. <gasps> what does Splinter do? Most curious. Okay, so Splinter does not cause retracting bullets, but still, it, like, it looks like it's going to be pretty valuable. Not going to say no to it. Oh, I'm loving the rapid fire here. Ooh. Oh, yes, the reason the speed is going to be good is because it'll allow us to move past the enemies and, um... Uh, reload. I I'm kind of mad that we're... I, I would really like to get into lightning. Also, more ammo. I also... I okay, there's a lot of things we need. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Let's go this way. Oh, uh, let me not trap myself. Here we go. This is what we want. Armed and ready. More reload rate and more bullets. But the thing right now is that we need to shoot faster because the enemies are pressuring me enough. There we go. Oh my god, I want to see this return. All of the bullets just returned. That is so cool. Okay, it's interesting. I'll give it to it. Now, Darkness 15 might not have been the best idea to try it, but I figured, you know, what better way to see how good a weapon is than to try it on the maximum difficulty. I also feel like there's just a few upgrades we need to kind of get our build online. Let's get haste. I am interested. It could be good against bosses. And it also might rip, it might rip through the bosses, to be honest. What we need, what we really need is run and gun. Run and gun would help tremendously. 
Also, I am able to just kind of periodically shoot in order to delay my reloads. It's like they're kind of fanning out. Yeah, I'm dragging the enemies closer, and then it rips through them. It's kind of cool. It's like, it's kind of like the idea of like how like an arrow can do more, does it can do more damage on the way the exit wound, or the, the basically like pulling the arrow out can be more damaging than actually just there. There we go. We got the boss. I feel like that was a decent timely kill. There we go. Run and gun. That's gonna help a lot. Now I can sneak through these enemies a lot more easily. And I'm able to drag them around, too. Oh, we have infinite ammo right now. I'm gonna let them just get into a big ball. Here it comes. Oh, man, that was cool. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, I okay so what we really need, because uh, we, by by time we get the 10 minutes, there's a, there's a few... Oh, I'm not using my re-rolls. I keep forgetting about that. Uh, we'll take that. Um... Ooh, Reaper Rounds, definite. Do one, do one, do one. I'm not, I'm not playing Shauna. I haven't played Shauna in a while, so I'm not used to having um, the ability to re-roll. Oh, this is going to be crazy. All of those just come back like that. Okay, so the reason we wanted Reaper Rounds is because what the Reaper Rounds are going to let us do is punch through the enemies, meaning the returns are going to be even stronger now. Um, Does Fanfire make them come back? Okay, let, let's focus on getting, um, fire rate. Yeah, fire rate. Uh, not a huge amount of fire rate, get, get me wrong. Also, a uh, sniper might be a good one, too. Oh, look at him just come back. That is so cool. I mean, I know I keep saying that, but it is cool. It honestly is pretty cool. Okay, there's the boss. Now he's going to charge a second time. Run and gun is so good for this boss. I just want to point that out. Run and gun is so good on this boss because the fact is that you just need a lot of space. It's just true. You need so much space. Look how aggressive he attacks. Fortunately, although he does double damage to me, one thing that doesn't matter is the idea that, um, there we go. Let me just get some of these guys out of here. This guy is proving to be a little more of a challenge, but that's because he moves so much, it's kind of hard to... It's hard to nail him down. Ooh, Gun Mastery. I didn't know I qualified for that already. Kind of interesting. Sneak around. I feel like our killing power is reasonable. This boss... I think this weapon is just not quite as good against this boss, just due to the fact that it's hard to plan our return hits on him because he just moves around so much. But that's okay, like, not every weapon, you know, you it's okay if a weapon has a weakness. And this is just one enemy, after all. And I mean, we are, we're chipping away at them, and I don't feel like, now that the energy barrier is down, I'm also just kind of like farming the other enemies in the process as well. Um... Electro Mage. I want Electro Mage for the reason that, um... Uh-oh, this could be bad, though. Okay, we lost our shield there. Okay, we finally took him out. We want Electro Mage because Electro Mage uh, gives us the ability to reload, instant reload, and I think that's going to be super good with this. And then anytime I want, I can just pull all of the arrows back. I mean, even without really, you know, I'm not even really putting any effort into setting the arrows up, honestly. Because I was like, you know, is this going to be like a big brain weapon where you need to like, you know, need to have like 200 IQ to get like this Rubik's Cube of like uh, setups done? But honestly, just like the fact that there's going to be so many enemies, I think that's going to be fine. And you're just going to get like a ton of them anyways. Um, There's one of the pieces of the Halo. I don't think I care about that though. I want freezing, I think. Or do I? Let's try to re-roll for more lightning. Okay, I guess we're gonna go with Fanfire. I don't feel like it's safe to choose um, Shauna's Halos at the moment. That could be a mistake, because we're still leveling up pretty quickly. Uh, summoning now, Elemental now, um, Bullet Damage, nah, I'm gonna drop this one. Here we go. Pulling them back. 
pulling them back. That is, I, I really like that. I think that's super awesome. Do they come back? They come back. Oh my god. So fanfire is a thing, boys. Oh man, that's so good. Now, fanfire won't be. There's a little bit of anti synergy, unfortunately. Um, now, let's reroll. Bouncing. Bouncing and piercing? Let's go with the halo here. I'm, I'm not sold on the idea of bouncing. Not sold on that yet. Uh, one of the one of the things I am worried about is I feel like our build isn't really crystallizing into anything at the moment. That is a problem. Mainly because, um, you know, like this is Darkness 15, like our build needs to crystallize into something. I do feel like there is a potential for a lot of damage in this area, though. I also feel like this kind of build I'm going for needs a little more speed. But I think the main problem is we just don't have. We didn't. I didn't. I should have rerolled more heavily into some offense. But that's okay. Um. Blazing speed. Let's get some speed going. Oh man, they're getting so tight. The forma enemy formations are getting so tight that it's really hard to. I mean, I feel like. Basically, we do still kill a lot of enemies on the arrow return. But I also feel like we're not slaughtering enough enemies to really get the kind of EXP we're looking for. Our forward clear is not super great. Yeah. Okay, so that was our first run with this weapon. Uh, let's try again. Okay, so we are back to about 11 minutes. We've cleared the, um, the first two bosses. And I am working towards, uh, I, I think we have a much better build this time. Although we are getting a little boxed in. I probably just need to focus on clearing in one direction. So one thing that's working really well is lots and lots of multi-shot. Multi-shot, it works really, really good. And I think it's because of the, um, the fact that, look, look at look at the crazy return we're getting right there. Let's get, I, I do want, I haven't even picked up reload yet, because I've been very, very focused on trying to, um... All I've been trying to do is get our damage up, because, like, you know, we need to be able to, like, kill the enemies. And also, we are in ice, as you can see from just the sheer quantity of people getting frozen. Uh, we do have shatter, and I'm starting to also build into fire. Because I do want to go for the, um, the frost burning effect because I think that's just a really good one. I do try to shoot some shots behind me as well, and I think we're finally at the point where our damage is getting there. And, um, let me, I'll show you my upgrades real fast. Oh, um, what, I'm trying to think of what I want next. Okay, let's, I, I do, I think it is okay to start going for the Halo pieces now. Okay, so what we've got going on is we got ice going on, we've got fire going on, run and gun, and fusillade. Those were really, really important. We also got uh, reaper rounds. Reaper rounds are really, really a big deal. Like, th th that is one of the challenges of this weapon, I would say, without a doubt, is just trying to... You, there's so many things that help this weapon, and you're just like, man, you gotta figure out which ones are the most important. And sometimes you just have to kind of clear forwards, and although there's like a bunch of arrows everywhere, you know, like sometimes you just gotta, you don't, don't worry about the arrow setup. Sometimes you just have, okay, there we go. We got the halo. More fire rate, reload rate. That's gonna be really helpful actually, because the faster we reload, the faster we get our return arrows. So that's a big deal. One thing I really like about Shauna's Halo is that it's kind of, it's a, it's not kind of, it is a unique weapon, or a unique item to Shauna in this, not just in the sense that literally only Shauna gets it, but there's nothing else like it in the game. There's no other weapon like that. One web, one thing that I think would be really beneficial is, um, uh, Sniper. Because Sniper would let the bullets go farther. But I'm trying to think about what I want. I'm going to re-roll here into... I kind of don't want any of these, to be honest. I guess we'll go watch and learn. Don't really like any of those options. But that's kind of okay. We'll see how our damage handles against these guys. These are the beefy boys, after all. 
The, oh, another thing that's really good is the fan fire. The reason why fan fire is so good is because the fan fire, oh, this is gonna be, well, bullet damage, let's go with bullet damage after we, we do reload a lot. So the reason why fan fire is nice is because fan fire seems to do full damage on return. And all it helps to do, really, is just distribute more arrows that are flying in all the different directions. And, like, as you can see, like, we just got this really sweet barrage going on. Let me reload real fast, bring the, all of the arrows back in. This is actually a- th this is the interesting weapon where you don't necessarily want to fire all the time. Like, sometimes you actually do just want to reload. And, uh, the reload effects and uh, the ice is also like the ice is buying us a little bit of room that's kind of why, why i went for ice and fire and i went for ice and fire because i knew that you know we may not necessarily kill enemies instantly in one hit but what we can do is stall them out and then i think a combination of burning damage and ice de and the ice is going to really help there i am still not fully confident in this i do want to point that out that like you know this is still kind of an alien build you know, I'm not, I'm still not, you know, not entirely sure if I'm sold on how good the bow is. It is a fun thing. That's one thing I'll say right off the bat. It's a very interesting build. But, you know, as far as, you know, is it going to be like a Darkness 15 kind of build? Maybe. I mean, like, it could be. It just needs a little more research. Like, sometimes, like, your damage is kind of unreliable. That's one thing that I don't like about this build is that... You know, sometimes you just, you know, we just need to do damage. You know, we need to get some damage cranking in here. And sometimes it's kind of hard to tell, like, is my next arrow return going to be big, big, big damage? Or is it just going to be, you know, some damage? The other, like I said, another problem is, like, this weapon wants, like, everything. Like, it wants the sniper build so that you can shoot farther. Because, you know, the, you shoot farther and they're going to boomerang back more effectively. Um... I kind of do want to get in the stalwart shield. I feel like I am taking a lot of damage, and I don't want my shield to be down very long. So I am going to go for that. Like, we're even shooting, we're shooting, oh, here, here's a bit the big, oh my god, did you see how many return arrows we got on the boss there? I mean, like, you can't see the boss's health, so I don't know if I'm even doing a lot of damage to him, but I can't help but think that, like, that was just really good. But here we go again. Bam! All of the arrows just rip right back through the boss. Distributing the shots, who knows what direction these shots are gonna go in. I mean, like, right now, I feel like we're actually thinning out the, um, the lampreys, which is good. Normally, these guys would be kind of swarming me at the moment. Let me try to get some more shots on the boss. Gonna go for the return here. Maybe not quite, I need to clear forwards. Oh my god. That was so many return arrows. That was nuts. Okay, good. Our shields are up. Definitely starting to feel the pressure, though. Fortunately, with the uh, the ice is helping a ton. We do have shatter. Shatter is going to help a lot. But the problem is that they are like I don't feel like I'm killing them quick enough. Just lost the shield. Oh, that was a great return, though. Maybe I need to return a little more frequently and just reload manually. Just trying to find an opportunity to clear through these guys, though, is part of the problem. There we go. Here's a good spot. Oh, we got the boss. I didn't... Okay, return shots must have gotten them. Not that I'm complaining. Not complaining. Uh, no, no mercy for me, though, because the next boss is going to be here any moment. And I mean, like, one thing I'm really, the, the fan, the fanning arrows is helping a lot. I, I've got to tell you right now, the fan arrows are a humongous help. Man, like, I really feel like we need more damage, though. I feel like these, these crazy lamprey guys are just causing way too much of a problem. I can't even get to the chest. Um. Oh, that's going to help. Oh, that's going to help. That's going to help. Triple the next effect. Oh, that's gonna be that I mean that's gonna help too. If I I really gotta pick a good one here. I gotta pick one that's gonna make a big difference. I don't know which one I'm gonna pick, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be picky about it. I'm gonna try to make the next one count. A triple upgrade could absolutely swing this entire thing back in my favor. 
Oh, you know what? Maybe the ice is gonna... Okay, I think the ice is finally starting to help out here. Oh, I just got damaged for no reason at all. I'm just gonna push through these guys. Oh god, the next boss is here. Wasn't ready. Wasn't ready. Oh man, this guy has super high attack speed on Darkness 15 as well. We gotta get some space. Let me get some shots on him. We don't want all the bosses to pile up if we can help it. Now, if the, but the good news is that if I freeze them, they start burning. So, you know, in a lot of ways, they start solving their own problems. Oh my god, look at all these arrows. Oh my god, did you see how many arrows that was? Let me just get some distance here. There we go. All I care about is getting a little bit of distance there. Let me call the arrows back. Uh-oh, I'm gonna get cornered here. Gotta plan around his attacks. I'm really trying to knock this guy out. Okay, this should be better news, mainly because these guys are easier to kill. So maybe we'll see some more EXP coming in. Come on, arrows please. Lost my shield, not good. Gotta clear. I'm just trying to escape these guys right now. Um. Oh wait, that's right, our next one is triple. Um. This is a tough one. Triple HP. I don't think that's going to help us. I, I, I think we will die either way. I, I think we got to go for Electro Mage. I don't think this is a very strong one. I don't think this is necessarily a super strong triple, but I think it's just the best we can do. Got to clear through these guys. I'm trying to kind of go in a circle. I found that to be a fairly effective strategy for um, getting return damage. One more level and I'll get a heal, and our shield should be coming up fairly soon. One thing I am glad about is that we are technically shooting behind us as well. Oh, darn! Oh, I tried to go for a reload there, but yeah, I... I uh, I, I think our damage just wasn't there. I think that was pretty good, though, for a, for, for a good first try. I think it could definitely be done. I don't think that this weapon is as, um... It's just not as, I, I guess what, or what I'll call it is meta. I don't think it's quite as meta as other guns, mainly because I think it requires a little too much setup. Like, an example of, like, you know, what's, like, just, like, really good is the dual SMGs. They just work. And I think that's part of the issue there. Like, they are a more advanced kind of weapon. And it's a fun it's a fun weapon, but the thing is it does require a lot of setup, and I don't think that it rewards you enough for the setup. When like, you know, like I could have easily just used dual SMGs and I absolutely would have won that. And I think that's because like the I think the dual SMG, I think they're just better. Like weapons that are more straightforward, they tend to just do better. Like I think the flame cannon's really good, dual SMGs are good, bat gun is good, just the weapons that are less fancy, they just tend to do better. I mean, there's a limit, obviously, like, I think the SMGs are better than the revolver, but, like, and anything that just triggers lots of elemental effects, I think they just work out better, but that's what my thought on, is on it overall, so, um, I still think it's a fun weapon, it's interesting, you know, I'm not done messing around with it, but overall, like, my first, my initial thoughts is that it just requires too much setup for, for what it's good for. And uh, I, I don't I don't know what maybe I think what, what could be better about it maybe the range I think that's really one of the big things is that you you should be able to shoot farther and then you could pull the bullets back farther I think that's one of the big problems on it but overall it's, it's still a very interesting weapon and it's very different and I am glad that it was added because like I said it's very unique anyways let me know what you think if you've had any fortune on especially darkness 15 because like you know obviously you could beat it on darkness zero but Tell me how you have handled this weapon on Darkness 15. This is how it went for me in uh, two tries. But, um, yeah. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Like the video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for future 20 Minutes Till Dawn content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good. 
to get good.